Oh, this is the other thing. This is interesting. The Straits of Madagascar are open. And I'm assuming that's because all the uh, fleets that were there were destroyed by pirates. Now, if the Straits of Madagascar are open, there are no training ports there. Um, that doesn't mean I send the fleet. Instead, I send my fleet to the Ivory Coast, because if one of those uh, trade theaters is shut down, the price of ivory should still be high. And if there is a fleet, if there's a node available in the Ivory Coast, we want to take it and then get some ivory at a high price flowing in to the Black Sea. So that might be the mission for the Boris. In those trade ports, recruiting those India men. Oh good, we wanted Prussians to do well against Poland Lithuania. We need the Prussians to shut down the Polish expansion. But like I was saying, um, those trade ports in the Aegean are going to now build India men. There's the Ottoman fleet. Blockade is lifted. Who is that sneaking into my territory, though? Another one! Swedes, are you going to declare war now? No, you do not. Marathi Confederacy, trade route is open. Knights of St. John. Italians. Who are you raiding? That shouldn't be a raiding line. Venice has got some troops. Dagestan and Georgia. That's where we have to turn our eyes now. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Okay, we constructed a weaver's cottage. And we have a tremendous amount of wealth. We have to use that wealth to invest in our industry now. Workers on strike in Serbia. Let's move this army in here. And it looks like that has been settled. Oh, light galley. Is that what I recruited? Where is that? Oh. I was recruiting that a long time ago. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's useful. The light galley is going to be the fleet that ferries our army that we assemble here across the Black Sea to take on Georgia. I've got... I thought I had a rake around here. Maybe he died. Okay. Workers on strike, and war declared. Sweden and Britain. Whoa! Sweden and Britain are at war with each other. Interesting. That means I want to give Britain some technology. I'll give you, you don't have cancer shot? I want cancer shot. I want to give you cancer shot. I will give you three of these military technologies for the naval shore facilities because those are things that are still eluding me. Ugh, I can't get those naval shore facilities. Um, dry dock. Dry dock could be helpful. Wow. Alright, I don't know. I'll come back to that later. I'll have to ponder that for a little bit. Okay, now, um, I think that, well, first we need to try to invest our money first. How are the ships doing? One turn. And I was wrong <laughs> before. It wouldn't have worked out the way I hoped. Alright, so we are going to recruit a naval vessel up here. Another six rate. This should replace the Boris. And the Boris. Let's see if the Ivory Coast has. Yes, they do have one trade route open. One trade node is open. Ivory Coast. Ottoman Empire has one. Spain has one. Spain has two. Sweden has one that's shut down. Oh, wow. The price of ivory should be pretty high. 29. Nice. That's, that's the best one. Okay, we're going for that. We're going for that northern trade mode. 
Trade mood. Mood mood. Wow, I wonder if I should declare war on Sweden. I wonder if this is a good time to declare war on Sweden. Because they're fighting the English. I'm sending the Boris to the mid Atlantic. There we go. Drought. And from there they will enter. They will sail for the Ivory Coast Trade Theater. That should take a couple turns. There you are. Okay. Okay. Um. Now, in the south, who do I want to improve? I want to improve some provinces before I do anything. Okay. Ostracon. Ostrakhan. We started building up Ostrakhan. Good. Okay. Check that off my list. And Bashkira. Where the heck is that? That's up, uh. That's over here. Bashkira. Okay. Um. These guys are taxing at 24%. And there's a pretty decent amount of wealth here bringing in good income. And we have governor's residence. And there's some people, the people here are kind of neutral. So the benefit of build, upgrading the governor, governor's residence to a governor's mansion will be twofold. It will increase the tax rate by 3% and will um, increase the repression in the region, which should improve that. So 2,000 there spent four turns. Okay. Come back to that later. Bulgaria was the next choice. This is going to be another expensive one. Um, yes, we have to build a governor mansion here. Now, Bulgaria is over a thousand in wealth. Um, same situation. Upgrading to a governor's mansion will be twofold. Benefit of repressing the population and increasing the tax rate. And repressing the population will allow us to possibly relieve some troops here. We don't have a lot of troops. Again, because 80% of the population there is orthodox, so we were at a big advantage. These guys are the ones we need to and their palace is top notch. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait a turn or two until these people kind of calm down. Okay, we'll keep, uh, you know what? Menchkovic is my top general. Hero of the army, drill master. Strong defender, confident general, and he's got this barber. He's 50. I actually want him... I need cavalry in the south. But Mench Menchikov is going to move to Istanbul. Because we are going to begin to prepare for an invasion of Georgia. We have to start moving our troops. Take Georgia. That's the next step. And Dagestan may or may not join us. If they do, that'll be an advantage. Georgia's a tough nut to crack. They've expanded since uh, we haven't had to deal with them. They have uh, this territory here that I can't pronounce. And they have Persia. And, um. Ooh! They also have, uh. Another region I can't pronounce. Balochstan. I don't know how to say that. Okay. And they don't have Afghanistan. Afghanistan is still held by the Mughal, Mughal Empire. No, it's regular independent Afghans. Those are the Mughal. Mughal. It's not Harry Potter. Okay. 
Um, so, an alliance between us and the Marafa Confederacy would be at a big advantage, although I don't like it because they're hostile with England and they're at war with England. Maybe now would be a good time, actually. Ooh, this is tough. Military Alliance. And they don't want it. Okay. Okay. So, let's take a look at technology. Now we have three turns, so we develop division of labor. We've spent most of the money. Bulgaria. Moldova is another government building that could use some upgrades. Moldova is kind of... Yeah, we're going to try to hold on to Moldova now. They're not getting any tax benefit from the uh, magistrate here. Upgrade to governor's residence. Alright, so we upgraded all these governor buildings. With this new income. That should improve... That should increase the income even further. And this income is going to be growing because the ch it's just growing. That's great. We're looking great. Okay. Uh, I didn't move any troops, really. I sent the ship. Built another ship. So we have orders to build another six rate there. Ooh, England. Who are you raiding? You're raiding Maratha's trade route. That's me. Hmm. Jerks. Okay. So we are building a navy. This is more, uh, it's going to be more of a trade fleet than it will be a military armada. We don't need the military armada in the Aegean anymore because of our diplomacy with the Ottomans. Our territorial expansion negative modifiers should be decreasing. Uh, that guy, he better be a scholar. That guy doesn't look like a scholar. They look like they're trying to convert the population. And I don't think I can assassinate them. Can I? Ooh, the Marath Confederacy has... What are they doing? Are they going to challenge the English? Hopefully they can challenge the English in the Straits of Madagascar and reestablish their trade route. Genoa entering the Adriatic. They might be at war with somebody. I don't know. Can't tell. Okay. What am I going to do with Population money? Population growth in this region has been sufficient for a new town to emerge. Oh, I have two towns. This growth is linked to a balance of food supply and taxation. Okay. Okay. Uh, gentlemen. That's what we were hoping for. We were counting on the gentleman. This, well, hold on. Let's do one thing at a time. Eh, no. The gentleman. He's first. Eh, okay. So we built a governor's residence in Ostrakhan. Wow. Look at this income. Tremendous. New town has emerged in Bulgaria. Very poor. I could build a church, actually. Counteract this guy. I might as well. I think I'm gonna do it. Church school. Counteract. Because I am gonna go ahead... Oh, wow. It takes a while for those harbors to develop. Okay. Recruitment report. Indian men in the Mediterranean. Very good. Okay. Two Indian men in the Mediterranean. We are going to send these fleets. Oh, that's too far. Okay. We're going to send them to the Ivory Coast. West African theater. Alright, let's just send him out this way. 
Hopefully they'll get out of the Mediterranean. I think we're at peace with the barbarian pirates. So we don't have to worry about them raiding us. I'm capturing those ships. And the Boris is right there. They're gonna continue on their way. That is the Boris. And we should have another ship. Six straight is on its way, one turn away. Let's build three India men. That should be sufficient to opening up the trade route at the beginning. There we go. This fleet, we have the Orel, Indian Men Trading Ship, as well as a long name I'm not pronouncing. Okay. Sweden is still at war with England. There are a lot of people. Austria, Denmark, Pirates, England, and Hanover. See who comes out of that. How are we doing as far as troops? Probably still need to hold Serbia for a while. What about the troops in Greece? Can we pull any out there? Not yet. I might want to pull these line infantry out. And the artillery. Well, the artillery definitely needs to go first. Let's see. Okay, we were able to pull them out without a fuss. Okay. I could recruit. Let's see. I might as well pull this artillery out as well. And Serbia is still stable, which is good. And we'll get back to some of those troop movements. As far as the 6,000 is concerned, I wanted to build another university to add a line of research, or a school at least. That way start researching more technology, because it appears like a lot of these nations are sort of ahead of us with technological research. So, that reminds me, I need to move these gentlemen. This gentleman is a scholar. Oh, there's a rake. Send this rake to the north. And send the scholars south. Oh, they ran into each other. And this scholar, we want to get him on the road, too. Something of a blade. Ooh. I'm going to use him for reconnaissance. In Dagestan. What is the quickest route to this bridge? Maybe not even the bridge. Yeah, that's going to take forever. Let's just get him... Well, we'll see what happens with him. Okay. Uh, I still have $4,000 to spend. Now, what can I upgrade next? Growing Town. Ooh, that's the Iron Mine. Which one is this? That's another Iron Mine. We weren't looking for more Iron Mines. There's two of them, though. we got to build one at least. Moscow's people are somewhat discontent. How much time is left in this episode? 
Okay, <laughs> I am going to take some time to ponder this new situation. I've been uh, playing, talking to you guys for about an, half an hour now. And um, that'll be it for this episode. Um, I'm going to ponder what to do with this new money and this new wealth. I wasn't expecting the trade, although I was going to have to fight another uh, battle. I wasn't expecting the treaty with the Ottomans, so I'm going to have to reevaluate the situation. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you guys next time.